making fun of a bus driver for wearing his uniform to the gym? Shame on you. Listen, I never would have expected to see Joey Swole, fitness influencer, standing up for bus drivers. You laugh at this man and you ask on this video, why is this bus driver wearing his full-blown uniform to gym it up? Maybe he forgot his gym bag. Maybe he's on a lunch break or on his way home and he's short on time. Maybe it's none of your damn business. You tell him, Joey. That's right. Yeah, Joey. And you should just worry about yourself and leave people alone. He ain't lying. I think it's pretty impressive that he's in the gym in the first place. If he can wear that uniform to bust his ass all day long, he can wear it to the gym to get a workout. Joey Swole, you ain't never lied, brother. I mean, would you make fun of a nurse for wearing their scrubs to the gym? Or is it because you're a model that you think you're better than that man and can treat him this way? That's right, Joey. Joey, let her know. She think because she a model, she could just talk down on bus drivers. Okay? We models too. I got a dad bod. I'm modeling a dad bod. I like that. That man makes sure that people get to work on time, that children get to school, that people get to their doctor's appointments. Show him some respect. And I also saw that you were a model for Gymshark. I hope they see this and they never use you again or any fitness company. You need to do better. Mind your own business. Joey, I'm a bus driver. I agree with you. Thank you for speaking for us. Listen, I'm a bus driver. I need to be in the gym. As a matter of fact, I have been going to the gym lately. But now I'm going to get made fun of by people like this. She a model. And she's like, no, you're a bus driver. You shouldn't be in the gym with your uniform on. That's so funny. What's the bus driver doing here? <laughs> Don't ever do that again. I myself, I am a public transit bus operator in Sacramento, California. And he's right about maybe the bus driver was on their lunch break. And it's close to a lunch break, but actually there are times when I've had split shifts, which means my shift is split in two. Thanks, Captain Obvious. So there's time in between my shift. It isn't necessarily a break. It's just that due to the nature of how public transportation is, some shifts are straight shifts and some shifts are split shifts. So there have been times when during my split shift or in the middle of the split, during the split of the shift, I would go to the gym and I'd make sure I have on gym shoes, but I wouldn't really have enough time to change clothes and all that type of stuff. And sometimes you will have time, but I'll go get a quick workout. I probably wouldn't be as intense during the workout because it's not a lot of time to change clothes. You don't want to sweat your clothes out and then you need to take a shower and all that type of stuff. So you can go get a quick light workout, which is better than doing no workout at all and take care of what you got to take care of and get back to work. Or maybe sometimes you will stop in at the gym right before your shift get maybe a light 20 to 30 minute workout in and then go to work. So let's take a look at what this lady said in the caption just to further reinforce the fact that she was making fun of the bus driver versus being supportive of the bus driver. It says, nah, please tell me why there is a bus driver in his full blown uniform just guying it up. I guess she meant gymming it up. High viz and shirt including. Ha ha ha. Laugh emoji. Laugh emoji. Laugh emoji. Now I guess she represents some company called Gymshark or she's a brand ambassador or something like that and I'm like that's cool but if you're going to post content or video about people in the gym shouldn't you be supportive especially if that person isn't doing anything wrong if anything you could have been supportive like yo there's a bus driver in here working out that's cool because that's not a job where there's a lot of physical activity so the fact that that bus driver is taking their health into their own hands and going the extra mile and they're probably on their way to or from work or maybe on a break and they chose to come to the gym to work out instead of going and grabbing a double cheeseburger that's cool how do you represent like a fitness brand but you make fun of people real actual average people who are not models and you make fun of them like huh what are you doing here oh you got your full-blown uniform on just gymming it up <laughs> laugh emojis everywhere that's crazy he ain't lying but i mean i guess that's who some of these uh fitness companies like to align themselves with fitness people we want to encourage people to do fitness by making fun of people who are 
we're doing fitness. You have to look like a model in order for us to not make fun of you for doing fitness. If you're a bus driver, oh my God, what are you doing here? So the gold is always in the comment section. So let's check out some of the comments that was left on Joy Swole's reaction to her video or her story that she posted on her Instagram. And let's see if people were in support of what she was doing in her story or what she was saying, doing and saying what, you know, what, Dude has more grit than 99% of us, works like a dog all day, then still finds the drive to work on bettering himself. No Lululemon, no Under Armour, no Nike, no excuses. Love and respect to this man. And I love that this other person said, not to mention all the crap they put up with on the job. Facts. He's just grinding after his nine to five like the rest of us. How are people so cruel? Good for that man making an honest living and prioritizing his health. She should be banned from the gym. Homie don't get time to change, let him do his thing. I agree. This comment says, did more than I did, I can learn from him. That's an inspiration. So it's interesting. This bus driver is inspiring people to do whatever they need to do to work out. But a lot of these fitness brands were probably never aligned with someone like me because Clearly, I'm not like a fitness guru. I have a dad bod. I'm working on it, but I'm not the person that they would use to encourage people to go to the gym. This bus driver in the video is not someone they would use, but this bus driver is making the sacrifice needed to improve his health or maintain good health because health is a big deal when you are a bus driver, when you have a, at least here in the United States, a CDL, a commercial driver's license. We have to pass medical exams every couple of years and sometimes every year, depending on the status of your health. I love this comment right here. She just jealous because he actually contributes to society. And I got like over 1600 likes. I appreciate this person for acknowledging that bus operators actually contribute to society. Bro was probably just trying to get it in between shifts. Yeah, here's another awesome comment. This man is humbly going about training after serving the public all day and you, a model, mock him. What a backwards take. Then you can see these comments here. People are basically calling for Jim Shark to drop her. Yes, at Jim Shark, please drop this awful woman. Jim culture is about being supportive. Jim Shark boycott this person who made fun of the bus driver. And at Jim Shark, using Joy Swole's world famous tagline, you need to do better. So let me show you just briefly how important health is to bus operators. Like I said, I'm not in the best health right now, but I've recently made some changes to my diet and my workout regimen and being consistent in those things so that I can drop some weight and be healthier so that I can be here longer to make awesome videos for you all and to be here for my family and my friends and to do my job and to be able to keep my CDL. So risky diseases for bus drivers typically include cardiovascular illnesses, skeletal muscle problems, digestive issues, obesity, and high blood pressure, as well as problems such as anxiety, depression, and post-traumatic stress disorder. When it comes to us getting our medical recertification, blood pressure is a big deal. You can literally lose your commercial driver's license if your blood pressure is too high. So health with bus drivers and just commercial drivers in general, anyone that drives trucks, buses, or you know, if you're in the UK, lorries. I learned that from watching Daniel from Asheville. He's over in the London area. Area. Um, that's totally off topic, but that's where I learned that they call trucks lorries. Health is so important and we have to find those times to work out. A lot of times we're working these crazy unorthodox schedules. Schedules can be all over the place. Early mornings, late nights, split shifts, middle of the day, 12 days straight working, seven days straight working. You know, it can get crazy. So salute to that bus driver for going to the gym and working out. You see Gymshark, that's one of the people that she represents. They say, we do gym, but clearly one of your ambassadors, if you are a bus driver, in a full uniform, you're not supposed to do gym because if you do gym, I'm gonna film you without your consent, even though I understand it's a public place. I get it, it's a public place. And post you to all of our followers and let you know that you shouldn't do gym because if you do do gym, we're gonna make fun of you. 